Between Seam, November, Splatter Paint Fall Tree. Hi tweens, welcome back to Tween Scene Online. Today we're going to create Splatter Painted Fall Tree. In your kit you'll find a paintbrush. Um, before you get started you're going to want to cover your surface because this is going to be messy. You'll have an 8x10 canvas and you'll find some small pots of paint included will be brown, red, orange, and yellow. We're going to start with the brown and for your tree you're just going to kind of do a free form trunk shape. It can be a little rough. I'm not uh, going to worry about having nice neat lines because the leaf uh, colors are going to be splattered over this. So I'm just doing some long brush strokes to make a very basic trunk shape. So like that. I kind of like how it, when the edges are rough with a little bit of um, canvas showing through at the edges of the branches. And now I'm going to do a little bit of um, ground here at the bottom. Something for my leaves to land onto. There you go. There's my brown. After cleaning my brush real well, you're going, I'm going to load up my paintbrush with my first color. I'm doing orange first, and I'm going to use my fingers and flick the paint onto my canvas. Now you're going to want to make sure that you do gently and make sure that you're wearing old clothes and have your surface well protected. So you can see here I've got orange all over the place. Some are bigger, some are uh, small. When I think I've got enough, I'm going to uh, um, wipe off my brush. And I'm going to now use different color paint. I'm going to use some yellow. Add a layer of yellow leaves. Now, I know that trees don't have multicolored leaves on them. For the most part, usually a tree turns one color, but this looks neat. Some of the clumps of paint can be pretty thick depending on how close you get to your canvas. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you allow it to dry a real long time. As you can see, my hand's getting pretty gooped up with paint. What you can't see because it's off camera is that the paint did splatter be a little bit beyond the um, initial bit of newspaper I had put down. So make sure you cover a pretty wide area. I like a lot of yellow on my trees, so that's probably the predominant color I used. Now it's okay if you get a little bit of the paint down below heading towards the ground because that's the leaves that are falling, right? Now I'm using a little bit of red. The red for some reason seemed to splatter a bit more, but that's okay. That's the whole point of this is to have a splatter effect. You can think of it as the leaves in motion in the wind. You can keep going back and forth between different colors. You can blend the colors if you want. Um, it's up to you. 
It's art, so there's no wrong way of doing it. Lots of leaves. Oh, I had a blob there. I'm just going to try and clean that up a little bit. I might turn that into part of a tree branch later. I still have some brown left over. If I were to do this again, I probably would have just let that blob dry. <laughs> Loading on some more orange. You can see I've got a number of different colors of paint on my brush now at this point. Adding more yellow. I'm actually trying to get some bigger clumps of uh, paint in here. It'll help distract from the orange blot that I made accidentally. little more yellow and I'm almost done Wiping off my brush, getting a little more brown here. I'm going to try and turn that into a stump. Yeah, that looks better. Just about finished. Adding some more details to my trunk a little bit. There we go. I like the way that's come. Add a little more dirt to the ground. A little color in there as if the trees had already fallen. Or not trees, the leaves. The leaves had already fallen. Clean my brush one more time. Gonna add a little more yellow. So as I said, I really like yellow on my trees. Go. 
And there you have your fall tree. <laughs>